Hello, my wonderful fifth and sixth graders. It is lovely to have you here with me. So my name is Michelle, if we haven't met before, and I wanna to introduce to you a series that we're going to start called Total Worship. So we're gonna be answering who do we worship, why do we worship, how do we worship, right? So stay tuned for this episode of Loop, and I'll see you after the show. Bye-bye. I have no idea what's about to drop on me. <laughs> drop it! Drop it! Uh, ah! I got the loop! Four, three, two, one. Liftoff! We have a liftoff! I'm Ricky! I'm Jamie, and you know, sometimes we put our total worship in the wrong place. Yeah, sometimes we pick up things along the way and give it too much of our attention. We gotta drop our idols. Which is why we built the dropper! Woohoo! To illustrate dropping things. <laughs> but before we do that, let's talk about putting our total worship in the right place. When I was in third through eighth grade, I was a part of a softball team and we were the best in our area. Now when I say the best, some people are probably like, oh yeah, sure, like you're probably really good. No, no, no. We were not just undefeated, but we typically couldn't make it past the fourth, fifth inning because we would just destroy the other team. I say all of that, right? Because I want you to know, like this isn't just something that was a small part of my life. I loved softball. And the thing is, is I wanted to be the best. And so in order to be the best at something, whether it be a sport, playing an instrument, dancing, or even video games, it takes two things, right? It takes time and it takes practice. Those things that are good things can actually then become an idol. And what is an idol? An idol is something or a person that we are putting at the same place or above God. And then we begin to look at those things or to that person for hope or for joy. If we're looking for hope, we can't turn to a person or a thing on earth to give us that hope or that joy because the source of those things is Jesus. It's God. There's a story in scripture in Matthew where there's this rich young guy who goes to Jesus and is like, Jesus, what do I need to do in order to secure my spot in heaven? And Jesus goes to him like, well, I mean, all right, how about the Ten Commandments, right? You don't steal, you don't murder, you honor your father and mother, all the things. And the rich young ruler is probably thinking like, all right, yeah, I do that. So like, then I'm good. I can get into heaven, right? And Jesus goes, okay, how about, how about then you sell everything that you own and everything that you make, give it to the poor, drop everything, come and follow me. That's when the rich young ruler recognized the cost. And he wasn't willing to give up everything that he had in order to literally follow. Jesus was inviting him to walk with him and he didn't think that cost was worth it. That's when we can see that it was an idol for him. If you were to ask me when I was in like fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade, if softball was an idol for me, I don't think I would have said it was an idol. Was I thinking about it all the time? Absolutely yes, because I wanted to be the best. And if Jesus were to ask me to give up softball, if he would have asked me to come to church consistently or read my Bible or worship, I wouldn't have been willing, honestly, I wouldn't have been willing to give it up. And it's really sad to think about because knowing what I know now about who God is and how much he loves me, I wish I would have put him first in so many more areas of my life. And so for you, again, softball, sports, playing an instrument, all of those things aren't bad within themselves. It's when those things take us from a relationship with Jesus. So if those things are keeping us from coming to church consistently, if they're keeping us from reading our Bible or worshiping God and keeping God first, then we need to ask ourselves the question, what do we need to do in order to drop the idol? 911 emergency services. What's your emergency? Is this like the scam hotline? I just said it wasn't. Okay, because somebody just tried to scam me out of a bunch of money. Sir, this is an emergency line. This scammer is out on the streets preying on all of us. 
He made me feel so sorrowful, like full of sorrow. That doesn't sound like an emergency. Okay, check it. I got a lot going on for me. I'm rich. I'm young. I rule. So humble. I got it all. So when I hear that there's like a guy out there who knows how to get eternal life, I'm like, sounds too good to be true, but I gotta check it out, right? I guess. Well, it is too good to be true because it's a scam. I'm like, I want eternal life. And the guy's like, you follow the commandments? And I'm like, I'm out here following all the commandments. Okay. I do not lie. I do not murder. My mom and dad are like honored, you know? I've never met them. But this dude is like, all right, I'll tell you what. Go and sell what you have, give to the poor, and come follow me. And I'm like, wait, what? Have you seen my possessions, my guy? I'm not your guy. Uh... They're great. Like, I mean, like, I have great possessions. And I keep all of my money hidden. Never put it in the bank. Nobody's ever going to find my money. Oh, let me guess. It's buried in your yard. Well, okay, yeah, not all of it. Oh, there's some under your bed. Well, yes, there is some there, but... It's hidden in your clay pots. Okay, stop guessing. (laughs) Stop guessing. Uh, I'm just a concerned citizen who thinks, like, what if someone else falls for this guy's scam? Like, I'm just looking out for the little guy, you know? But if you were really concerned for others, wouldn't you follow this guy's advice and be more generous? Well, well, no, because, um, um, because, um... Like, wouldn't you sell your stuff? No, because, uh, huh. Sir? Ah, he hung up. Today we will be using the dropper to play a game called Let It Drop. Let It Drop. One of us will lay here where you can't see what's on top of the desk. The dropper. And there are going to be items on the desk, some that match and some that don't. And then we're going to pull these two cords and drop the items on our face below. Scoring works like this. One point for naming the things that drop, Mm -hmm. two points for naming the odd man out, and three points for correctly guessing within five how many Ah. items just dropped. Okay, what do we win? The winner gets to not pull the final drop. What's the final drop? I I don't know, they wouldn't tell me. They just kept them smiling real big. That's not a good sign. Let's play! Yay! The dropper! All right, Jamie, am I about to drop a bunch of knives on my face? Uh, I'm not supposed to tell you. (laughs) All right, let's find out. All right, here we go. Go, Ricky, go! Whoa, what is it, what is it? Oh, that's tough. (laughs) <laughs> All right, that was sponges, and I'm pretty sure there's a waffle in there. Oh. Yep, that's a waffle. <laughs> okay, and then how many sponges? Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 15. That sounds like a good guess to me. All right. All right, now it's Jamie's turn. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't know. I don't know what is gonna be dropped on my face. Yes. Let's go. Okay, go, do Jamie, it. Go. Here we go. Oh. Keep going. Mm. Uh, there were fake teeth, <laughs> I think. Uh, I didn't see an odd item out. Uh, what, what's your number guess? Uh, my number guess is 20. All right, <laughs> score check! <laughs> All right, Jamie, you have one point and I have more than that. Oh my goodness, you do. Okay, so who's teeth are these? I think I got a molar here. Again, the devil took Jesus to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give to you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, away from me, Satan, for it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Jesus says to Satan, worship God only. See, we all worship something. We all give our attention and our focus to something. Maybe it's material things or or people, but we're supposed to worship God only. Are you distracted by something right now? Maybe there's uh, something that you're thinking about that isn't God or His goodness. Instead of those things, let's focus on Him right now. Let's worship God only right now. Praise be to the Lord, for He has heard my cry for mercy. Praise be to the Lord, my heart trusts him and he helps me. The Lord is my strength, the Lord is my shield. My heart leaps for joy, with my song I praise him. The Lord is my strength, the Lord is my shield. My heart leaps for joy, with my song I praise him. Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. Praise be to the Lord, my heart 
I trust him and he helps me. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my shield. Jamie, are you ready? I'm ready! All right, how do you feel about, I don't know, what's your worst fear? Uh, accidentally opening my mouth. All right, <laughs> let's see. Uh, okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh no. Uh, I can't tell what this is. <laughs> right? It's yeah. indescribable, the feeling, no. right? <laughs> Wait, if I put one in my mouth, can I guess? That's a risk. Little. It could be more teeth, Jamie. <laughs> oh, no. You missed 100% of those, Jamie. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's Lucky Charms. <laughs> I think. I, All right, I do, guess do you have I a number? 50. <laughs> wow, Jamie. 50 is, is a number. Okay, great. And then a spoon. A spoon. That's my guess. I didn't actually see it. Okay. And I'm just going with a cereal theme. So, oh, spoon. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really good. <laughs> it would be if I were right. Yay, they are Lucky Charm marshmallows. Even though you did technically say Lucky Charms. Um, I don't find the, the odd man out. Oh, I do. <laughs> you do. Here you go. Oh, it was a bell. <laughs> yeah, which is a lot like a spoon if, it, if a spoon was a bell. <laughs> if it was shaped like a spoon. Yeah. It's Ricky's turn. Hooray. <laughs> All right, it's Ricky's round two. Are you ready? Ready! Drop that stuff! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm glad you didn't open your mouth. Good job. It is technically digestible, so. Uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't say it was tasty. <laughs> uh, it does not taste good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think he's figured it out, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with a seed or a kernel. Final answer. Okay. I'm going with 100. Okay, what about your random item? Yeah. There, there was something that I couldn't see. It was kind of like, it looked fluffy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna guess just a, a, a small piece of meat. Just a small piece of ham. Fluffy? You said it was fluffy. Yeah, the best kinds of ham are fluffy. Okay, all right. We're gonna do a score check now. So two to six. Hooray! Hooray! Jamie, you get the final drop. <laughs> I do. I had a feeling like this was coming, so I am ready. Okay, what is this? <laughs> Gross. Ah, oh, it's a bean. These are beans. <laughs> How about your, uh, what is your odd man out? Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna guess a piece of ginger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or a bumblebee. <laughs> oh, that would have been terrifying. That's good. I would have actually seen it. Like, ah, oh, me! All right, Jamie, it's your turn for the final drop. Final drop! Worship at times requires sacrifice. We think about the rich young ruler, right? Who was not willing to give up his riches in order to follow Jesus. But we see all throughout scripture, there are people who were willing to say yes to dropping everything in order to follow God. We think about the disciples literally dropping their nets, getting out of their boats and following Jesus. We think about the little boy who gave his lunch so that Jesus can perform a miracle and feed over 5,000 people. We think of the Samaritan woman who literally dropped her water jug in order to run back into towns so that she can tell everybody that she knew and saw who God was. And there are so many more throughout scripture. And so my question for you is what is the thing? Do you have something that you can drop that right now is an idol so that you can truly worship God? Again, it can feel like a sacrifice, but what I promise you is that whether it be a person or a thing or a sport that right now is at the same place or above God, when you drop those things, God will meet every need that you have, the joy that you're looking for, the peace that you're looking for, the hope that we can only find in God. I promise you, God is going to show up and you can trust Him because God never changes and He loves you and only wants a relationship with you. And when we can truly worship God for who He is and what He's done for us, 
then we recognize that his love is greater than anything, any idol that we can pick up. Final drop. Final drop. Final drop. Okay, I thought that I would say I'm doing it, but I'm a little nervous. You got it, Jamie. Final drop. This is your prize. You won. I didn't win, though. I lost. No, you won this opportunity <laughs> for the final drop. Okay, I'm so nervous. You got it, Jamie. Mm. Final drop. <laughs> going. What did I just drop on my face? Oh, is it pickle? Oh, it's relish. Is it relish and vinegar? It's like in my ears. Oh, it is. Oh no, that's okay, that's okay. Oh my gosh. All right, Jamie, you have, as far as I can tell. What is this? You have relish ah! and a tater tot. Oh, what? With. That is so weird. No, Jamie, it's not. What's weird oh. is that it's topped with a tiny baby. Ah! I'm also holding onto these cords. Like they're gonna save me from what? Is that a naked baby? <laughs> Oh, Jamie, I'm just getting it. It's tots on tot. Oh, tots on tots on. On relish. 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 Tots on tots on relish. Tots on tots on relish. Oh, we did it. We did it. Tots on tots on relish. Flawlessly said. <laughs> Jamie, do you need help getting up? Ah! Think about it. What easily becomes an idol in your life? If you've picked up something that's been stealing your worship, let it drop. Because idols will let you down. But God's love never will. Yay! Until next time, enjoy, enjoy the, the ride. ride! All right, you want to do a final drop? I'm going to let it drop. I'm no? Gonna, no, I'm, You're just going to let it stay there? I'm going to let it stay dropped. Okay, I think we have some extra relish. I'm going to drop it, Jamie. Just drop it. For so many of us, we've been searching for hope, for value, and significance. But we've honestly been looking in all of the wrong places. But God is waiting for you to come to Him to offer you everything that you've ever wanted and needed. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now and we just thank you for the fact that you are good, that you love us so much, that when we come to you, you are there waiting for us, and that it's through you, through a relationship with you that we try and true value, that we find true significance, that we find hope. And so God, I pray that each of us, we would take this seriously, that we would stop searching in the wrong places and that we would start searching for you because you are the source of life, of hope, of truth, of every good thing that there is. And so God, I pray that we would learn to come to you first because you love us still praying today. I know there are many of us who, if we're honest, right, we've been searching for these different things in all the wrong places. And every time we come up short, but at the same time, God has been searching for you. God has been looking for you to have a relationship with you so much so that 2000 years ago, God came down to earth in the person of Jesus so that he could make things right between you and him so that we as human beings could have a relationship with God. This Jesus, he lived a perfect life. He died a brutal death on the cross for our sins so that anybody who puts their trust in him could be made new. And that's why you're here today because you have been searching for life. You've been searching for meaning and God has been searching for you. And today is the day that you accept the relationship that he's offering, that you experience what it really means to live life and life to the full because Jesus came for you. He wants a relationship with you. And to those of you that are here today and you would say, yes, that's why I'm here because I want a relationship with God. I wanna turn from my past and turn towards him. I want to give my life to Christ. If that's you, simply lift your hand right now. All over the room, people are making that choice to say yes to Jesus today. And we're gonna pray with you. So please repeat this prayer after me. Dear Jesus, forgive me. I'm turning from my sin. I'm turning towards you. I need your love. I need your grace. I need your mercy. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, people, make some noise, cheer, celebrate, because that's the most important choice you can make in your entire life. But please don't stop there, right? Talk to somebody, tell your friend, tell your small group leader, tell your parents about that choice you made so they can help you understand what it really means to follow Jesus today. Well, I, I truly learn something new every single time that I watch Loop, and I hope you do too. But the fun is not over. There are activities or discussion questions that are available to you. All you have to do is click the link below this video on the Kport Online page, and you will get access to all of that. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.